Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this week. And in this video, we'll take a look at uh, at Ethereum. I wanted to say Bitcoin, but I did that in the in the last video. So if you want to check that out, then uh, check out that video. Um, but in this video, we'll zoom into Ethereum, which frankly, at this point of time, is actually a little bit more interesting than Bitcoin. Uh, because what we talked about yesterday, and I was actually wrong about this, or at least so far I was wrong about it. Um, what we talked about yesterday is that uh, we actually had a big bullish breakout last week when we broke above 1915 and 1920, kind of that area. Uh, and what I thought is that we would actually first have somewhat of a pullback, which we technically had, but I expected more. Um, a pullback down to this level right here around 1865. And that from there, we would have enough bullish momentum to then also break above 1940. So that's a lot of numbers. Basically, we held like we had a bullish breakout, a big bullish breakout above 1915. We still had resistance at 1940. I thought that we, that we would break above that, but I thought it would take longer. And um, so far, I was I was wrong about that. I mean, we could still get bearish momentum right here, and this could all just be a fake out at this point of time. But it it doesn't look like that necessarily, uh, because what we have also seen already is that there's there has been a lot of volume coming in for ethereum like this spike right here which we had um, around midnight was very big and since uh, we did the video yesterday uh, yesterday morning uh, the, the volume was around like 4.4 billion dollars and it has increased to like 7 billion uh, yeah almost 7 billion right now so there's a lot of volume actually coming into ethereum where with bitcoin it's actually actually lagging uh, lagging a little bit um, but we'll talk about more and we'll talk about what I expect from here in this video. Before we dive into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, as you can also see at the very uh, top right there, and then check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. And there you'll find out instructions on how to join, but also you can find out a little bit more on, uh, on what it is. You can also right now uh, go to selenix.com. Uh, and check out some things there of, of what you get and stuff and, and what it looks like. Um, I'm working on it. You cannot pay here yet, but um, yeah, that's um, something for later. But now onto Ethereum. So overall, I mean, perhaps I was stupid for, for not calling this bullish breakout or at least saying that we would pull back a little bit more because technically this is a beautiful setup. Technically, we are very, very bullish. Like we have this uh, very strong uptrend right now going on, at least on a short term. Perhaps on the daily, it looks a little bit different. Um, and we broke above 1915, which was a very strong resistance level. It's kind of the, the heart of this bigger level between 1900 and 1940. So perhaps I just should have known that after getting that bullish breakout, we would actually um, break above that. You can also see that of this uh, bullish move we had, we dropped down to the 3 at 2 fib. Would have been an amazing trade. I didn't take it. Um, I just didn't expect this this soon. But right now, I do think that the bullish momentum, like like I said in the in the beginning of this video, there's a small chance that this is a, a fake out. Like right now, we're nearing resistance around 1970. But I actually think it's more likely that we will actually continue up to 2000, uh, so that we have now broken above 1940. We might find resistance at 1970, but then we'll just take a bullish break retest off of 1940 and continue up to this 2000, 2020 level, which in my eyes is my, uh, that's my main price target. There's some strong resistance there, like, or wait, what's this trend line? <laughs> I'm not sure, <clears throat> I'm not sure why that trend line was there. It's not that, uh, not that relevant, but apart from that, it's just a strong psychological uh, and, and normal key level. Uh, so that's why I think we'll get up there but also that we will find resistance there. And from there, we'll see again. I mean, frankly, we, we are very bullish. So at this point of time, uh, when also taking a look at, at Bitcoin, for example, it does look most likely that we will continue up higher as well. Um, but uh, but, but I, I don't expect a huge rally from here. I actually do think we'll settle down a bit more, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow again. For now, this is my take on Ethereum. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.